Hi everybody, let's take a first look at uh, layouts in a manifold future. We're looking at a typical manifold future display here and uh, it shows a map. The map has multiple layers. So we have uh, the first layer, I'll turn off this one. The first layer is here that shows buildings in Monaco. Uh, we've downloaded these buildings. Uh, it's a drawing which we've uh, downloaded from uh, OpenStreetMap uh, using a PBF uh, format and then we've colored them using manifold style. And behind that is a layer that's an image server layer, so that's actually an image. That's Microsoft Bing Street Maps. It provides a street map detail. And uh, behind that, uh, if we want to let's turn that one off, we want to turn it on is the Microsoft uh, Bing uh, satellite. So that shows us a satellite image layer, and uh, we can work with that as well. Let's start with uh, by turning off the satellite, and we'll turning on the turn on the street map. And that's the ma that's the map we're working with here. We also have a, a drawing here of Mexico, which we're going to use. And that just shows uh, the provinces of Mexico neatly colored. So let's create a print layout. To do that, we uh, right click in the project pane, we choose a new layout, click create layout, and there we've created a layout. When we double click that open, what we see here is a sheet of paper, and that can be panned and zoomed so we can make it whatever size we want. We can click zoom to fit, and that will affect how the uh, sheet of paper on which we're going to lay out what are called frames. Uh, now, what Manifold does is it'll take whatever is your de default printer and uh, whatever is the default paper size of that printer. The default printer we're using for this example is the Microsoft Print to PDF facility. We're working in Windows 10 here. And uh, that has, but believe it or not, no matter where you install it, it has a letter size paper as the default. So we're going to start by changing that from letter to uh, A4. Now the page setup that we're doing here applies to the lad. It's not changing the uh, printer. Uh, defaults. We want to change the printer defaults. We've got to go into the Windows Control Panel and all that other wonderful stuff. And we're going to change the margins from um, from 25.4 uh, millimeters, which is one inch, to uh, 10 millimeters, which is one centimeter. It's kind of odd that no matter where Manifold sells their, their product, they think you want to use letter size paper, but hey, that's cool. So when we do that, you can see that the margins have changed. That little faint line shows where the margin is going to be. And the aspect ratio of the paper has changed. So it's now A4 size, international size paper. To add a frame to this, uh, elements are called frames, uh, we drag and drop, say, Mexico into the sheet, and there Mexico appears. And the first frame we add, or any frame, new frame we add, uh, starts in size by filling out the entire layout. We can change the size by alt-clicking on it, and then um, dragging and dropping, dra dragging the uh, borders and the edit handles around to make it uh, whatever size we want. And when we get near a, f uh, a margin like that, you'll see that it clicks to fill the size of the margin. Uh, now suppose we want to actually have Mexico more neatly fill in this uh, display. Uh, we can do that. We can uh, double click on that and you can see the border now turns to dark border. And that means all the pan and zoom commands now apply within this uh, border frame. So anything that we can do for panning and zooming, like right box, click and drag to do a zoom box, will apply within that border. If we alt click, we're back into uh, manipulating the size of the uh, the border frame again. So that's the first frame, which is which we're going to add, which is Mexico. We can click outside to get out of that uh, edit mode, or click the escape key. Uh, let's add uh, another instance of Mexico. We'll add another frame, which is also Mexico. You can see how the uh, two frames overlay here. I'm going to alt click on that, resize that. And now I can move this around. You can see that if we have a transparent background, uh, what's underneath, uh, the frame underneath will show through. Uh, I'm going to uh, resize this to make it about that size. And then I'll put it down here. You can see it's uh, snapping to the, uh, frame, the, uh, the margins as we get near those margins. And now uh, I'll show you what's called auto zoom, where if the uh, frame is, if Manifold considers the frame to be too small to conveniently pan and zoom, when you double click into it, it'll automatically zoom out to uh, fill the extents of the uh, display that you have available so you can more conveniently pan and zoom. And what I'm going to do is uh, zoom box so that we're going to fill this frame with uh, the province of Durango. I'll click escape to end that mode then I'll click here to back to go back to the previous view and now we can see how we've created a uh, display here where we have uh, m all of Mexico here and Mexico uh, just the Durango province here Gonna, I'll click on that and move this down a bit to free up some additional space right there. Perfect. Uh, actually, let's go down a little bit farther there. And now I'm going to tinker time as we uh, play around with uh, getting this exactly the way we want it to be. 
Fine, that's uh, good enough for what we want to do. Now let's add the uh, map to this. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the map. I'm going to drag and drop the map. You can add images. You can add all sorts of things. Uh, the map starts out zoom to fit, and it's zooming to fit the current layer that's in there, which is the uh, uh, the uh, Microsoft uh, Bing Street Maps layer. And what I have to do is I have to double click. Uh, let's let's resize this first. So let's uh, change the size to about like that. And let's make it a little bit bigger. Well, now let's make it about that big so it'll automatically fill up the rest of the space. And now I'll double click on that. So now all zoom commands will apply to that instead of applying to the uh, uh, to the entire layout as I was doing earlier. As you can see, uh, Manifold is actually pulling in tiles on the fly as we zoom zoom in here. It's pulling those tiles in from uh, the uh, Bing Street Maps uh, image server. So even though we're looking at this display here inside of a print layout, Manifold is still filling in those tiles from the uh, image server. And let's uh, zoom in all the way here. So as you can see, it's uh, it's uh, showing us uh, exactly where we can get whatever effect we want by panning and zooming exactly the way we want. Now let's do something interesting. Let's go open up the map, and I'll undock the map so we can work with the map and work with the layout at the same time. And here in the map, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this. Uh, I'm going to change the map by turning off that layer. Now we're working with the beta edition of Manifold Future. What's supposed to happen is that when I change this in the map, the layout is automatically supposed to change as well. Uh, we have to move it slightly to uh, uh, trigger the refresh. That's going to change in the next build. Obviously, we're adding hundreds of features to this. There's hundreds of features stacked up to uh, uh, to be added to the uh, layout capability. Uh, so stay in tune to Manifold Future because each new build brings yet more capabilities. Anyway, we've changed uh, what we see in the map here, and that's automatically been changed in the layout as well. Let's print this layout. And I'm going to print it using uh, File, Print. I'm going to print to Microsoft Print to PDF. Now, since, uh, like, I, since like I said, since I changed the uh, page paper size in the uh, layout, I didn't change the preferences for the printer. The printer is still rigged up here to uh, print to letter. And that's uh, the way Microsoft does things. So let's change that to A4. And now we're going to print portrait size to A4 paper. I'm going to click print. And let's call this uh, layout example. Play example one. Let's call it layout example one. We're going to print to PDF. Click save. And it processes this very quickly because we're, we're working with uh, vector data. So uh, PDFs can be created very quickly by the Microsoft uh, Print to PDF driver if we're working with vector data that is drawings and not imagery. Imagery is a little bit slower, but still it's reasonably quick. Let's double-click that open, and we're using Adobe Acrobat Reader here. Yeah, let's get rid of all these tools. As, as you can see here, that is indeed the uh, print layout that we have in the uh, that we created in the. Uh, in, uh, in Manifold. And I'll zoom in. And the neat thing about this is that when you zoom all the way in and stuff like this, because we're working with vectors, you can see the incredible crispness uh, of uh, the display uh, that the printer PDF creates. If you like from PDF now, you can print to whatever printer you want. Or we could have print direct, printed directly to uh, a printer from uh, uh, the, the print layout as well. Uh, I showed how to print a PDF because that's a very common thing that's, uh, that people like to do. People like to print a PDF because then they can view that PDF in Edge, they can view it in Chrome, they can view it in Acrobat Reader, and they can print from all those different things to all the various devices that they like to use. Fantastic. Let's turn that off and let's go back here to the map where we're going to uh, turn on one of these background layers. Actually, let's turn on the satellite layer. That's a pretty cool layer. And now uh, back here in the layout, I'm going to just move that slightly. So that'll force it to refresh. And as you can see, the uh, layout automatically adapted to the changes that we made in the map. And uh, let's double click on here and zoom in a bit further. And it'll bring in yet more detail. And uh, let's now print this. So to do that, once again, it's File, Print, Microsoft Print to PDF. I don't recall if it remembers whether or not we. Nope, didn't remember. That's Microsoft's doing, not ours. <laughs> so let's print again. And let's print the layout example two. And uh, what you'll see is that it takes a little bit longer to uh, print to PDF because of what it's actually doing. And since it's parallel, we can keep working with stuff. For example, we can click on Mexico. We can click on France. Oh, it's done already. 
uh, I wanted to show you how uh, uh, how uh, Manifold is pulling down all the tiles to m max out the resolution that it can that, that the print to PDF uh, facility can give you, and we'll see that right now by opening that PDF. And uh, let's zoom into the PDF where uh, you can see it's just an astonishingly uh, uh, detailed. Uh, uh, presentation. If we printed out this PDF on A4 size paper, uh, especially you say photo paper, we get a really spectacular effect. So that's the first look at layouts in uh, Manifold Future. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Layouts are extremely easy to use. The things to remember is that uh, you can uh, all click to uh, resize stuff. You can uh, double click to uh, change the, to move the pan and zoom focus into the into that window. And uh, you can mix uh, images, maps, uh, drawings, uh, labels. We, haven't, we didn't do the labels. We should have, I guess. In the next demo, we'll do labels, I promise, uh, uh, to your heart's content. And at the same time, all this stuff keeps working, whether or not uh, uh, you're working with something else at the same time. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the tour. That's a first look at layouts, many, many more layouts to follow. So uh, we'll see you soon back again in Manifold Futureland. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.